My kids love this fish. Crispy panko and creamy mayo is what makes this an all-time favorite. And you'll be surprised at just how easy this is to make. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. This recipe was highly requested from the kids when I asked what they wanted to have for dinner this week, and I just realized that we actually have not filmed this yet. So this is one of our all-time favorites, and you're gonna love it. Please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna get started with um, my parsley, actually. This is the only thing that we're gonna chop, so I'm just going to take the leaves off and get going. You could add any type of fresh herbs to this that you like, or you can omit it altogether. Usually I like to add some fresh thyme, but it's winter right now and I don't have any in the garden. We're just gonna use about two tablespoons of fresh herbs. And this does add a little bit of freshness to the fish. And that's it. I have three quarter cups of panko, and panko is just a Japanese breadcrumb. I like to use it because I guess the pieces are bigger than regular breadcrumb, and it's just the whites of the bread and not like the crust, so I really do prefer using panko, but you can use a coarse breadcrumb if you like. I'm gonna add my parsley. I'm using a Meyer lemon, they are a little bit more sweet than a regular lemon, and I just love the fragrance of the Meyers. But if you don't have Meyer lemon, you can just use a regular lemon. We're gonna zest the whole lemon into the breadcrumb mixture. Probably about a teaspoon of lemon zest. We're also going to use about two tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan. It's just a little piece. And you can use as little or as much as you like or you don't have to use it at all. This recipe is super versatile. I'm just gonna give you some options and you guys can customize it to the way you like it. Okay, about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And if you're not using the Parmesan, I would probably add a little bit more salt because the Parmesan is salty. And pepper about half a teaspoon or until your hand gets tired from grinding the pepper. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna give this a stir. I'm using two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And sometimes I even use melted butter, so really it's up to you what kind of flavors you want in your panko topping. And we're just going to mix this around, make sure that all the breadcrumbs are well coated with the oil. And that will just help the topping brown and crisp up. I also have a quarter cup of mayonnaise, and I'm gonna add clove of garlic in there. And since I have the zester out, I'm just gonna use that to kind of finely grate it into the mayo. You just stir this up. And you know what? If you guys don't like garlic, you don't have to add it either. And if you like garlic, add even more. <laughs> totally up to you. We are having steelhead trout tonight. I know it looks like salmon. It's not salmon. But you could also use salmon if you can't find steelhead trout. We just like the mild flavor of the trout better than the salmon, and that's what the kids prefer, that's what we prefer. This is what you can get at Costco, and it's more reasonably priced, I think, than the salmon, so that's what we prefer. Okay, I'm also lining the pan with a piece of parchment paper. It's crumpled because when you crumple your parchment, it actually stays in place better. If you don't wanna use parchment, you can always use foil to line the bottom. Totally up to you. I'm gonna tuck this thinner side underneath so that the fish cooks more evenly. I'm gonna squeeze the juice of half a lemon over the fish. Okay. Season with some kosher salt right on the fish. So probably about a quarter teaspoon and some 
freshly ground pepper. Probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna to top with the mayonnaise. I'm gonna spread that evenly over the fish. And this is what helps the panko to adhere to the fish. We're gonna add the panko generously over the whole fish. I like to put it down the middle and then I just spread it out from there. And just gently press it down into the fish. Make sure every part is covered. This filet is about one and three quarter pounds. That's about 780-ish grams. And I have preheated my oven to 425. And we are gonna put this in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. We're gonna check on it at 18 minutes to see if it needs more time. All right, let's check this out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, I'm just gonna see if it's cooked all the way through. And you can tell if it flakes easily. I think at this time it's still a little bit pink in there. You can see. I'm gonna stick it in for another two minutes. Let's cover that back up. All right, let's see if that two minute made a difference, which I'm sure it did. See, it's more light pink now and it's flaking. And that is done. I'm just gonna cut a piece, show you what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. All right, dude, this is your dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in that 18 minutes that your fish is in the oven, or 20 minutes or so, you can prepare some rice or your sides. You can have um, salad or make some veggies on the side. We usually make cook some veggies and um, have rice. All right, dude, are you all ready for? Oh yeah. The taste of the dishes that we do for you guys, uh, what doesn't get seen enough of, I think, are the dishes that we eat more regularly. The, 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 the food that's heavy on family rotation. And well, this is one of those items, uh, the, one of those dishes that uh, is super easy to make and it's a winner every time. Great flavors. Oh. This is a great recipe that deserves smell vision but sadly doesn't exist. I mean, look at this. So much going on here. You get the layer of crunch and into the creaminess and into the yummy fish. All right. Get a that perfect cross section of the fish. The fish is cooked wonderfully just nicely flaked and then you get that uh, panko in there mmm simple meal rocking this with a veg and rice or whatever side you want it's wonderful so much flavor going on here that's why it's a favorite another thing is that the reality of putting a wholesome meal on the table is a challenge on for everyone on any given day. Being able to have this fish ready to roll and the recipe that you don't have to babysit, you prep it, put it in the oven, it comes out ready to eat. It's hot, it's super flavorful, and uh, you know, it's, it's better than fast food anytime. All right, thanks dude. Yeah. This filet cost me less than $20. You are not going to get a fish entree in a restaurant for $20 for one, let alone feeding a whole family. We've been wanting to incorporate more fish into our diet, and this is a very easy and simple and delicious way to do it. For other fish recipes, check it out. I will see you over there.